Okay, let's get all the scales. Oh, you want to do that now? Yeah. Okay. Episode ends here. This episode starts here. After this. <laughs> Sweet ass. <laughs> oh, God. I love this game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so you can't you can't put in more golden rings even if you wanted to. Mm -mm. Well, All right. let's start the walkthrough. Okay. This episode is titled Rainbow Scale Walkthrough. All right, behind the yup. Okay, number one, behind the yellow... Actually, you know what? I should just cut out the segments until we get them. Yeah. And then just be like, number one, bleh, bleh, bleh. Jason, do that starting now. Maybe we... Number did. one is behind the yellow house, house in Bye 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 Station. station. Yeah. No, I'm doing it. Okay. Eh. The other one is behind the other house. It's purple. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that for that long. The next one is behind here. I don't know. Is it here? I told you we got it. Oh. Okay, you missed it. No, you didn't. Okay, so it's uh, it's, it's there. There's that's one there. here. There, that's all you need to know. It was there. Fourth one is on the right. Which we did. We accidentally did. I accidentally did. It's the same thing, except you just fall like two feet away from it. It's really not that hard. Anyone who has eyes could be able to see that at some point. Oh, there it is. Get it. Okay, that wasn't very hard. Anyone who has eyes can see this. It's behind Julius's lab. As long as you explore. Number seven is up here. Number seven, the wheel. Dude. It's right there. Number okay, let's go to eight. Oh, it was the back of that path we were doing earlier with the life. And that yes. one. That's number eight. At the end of the path near the extra life. Number nine. Life. Look behind the wall. Oh, we must have gotten this one already then. Mm hmm. But whatever, it's here. You have this for reference now. At the right of the entrance, look along the wall for the scale. Right here. There you go. Number 11. Number 12. Oh no. <coughs> okay. Corner of the rock face in the area with many pillars in the water. Oh, where you glided from rock to rock. Mm hmm. Do it. It's down here. I think here. you're supposed to go on the... Uh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Right here, number 12. Number 13. Climb on the pillars to access the upper part of the cave behind the waterfall. Waterfall. Oh. That's the one we did. Alright, so yeah, you just basically climb up this and then go behind the... What's here, fail. And if you glide right... Into the Witcher Fail, you get the dangles. Right to there. You got it. That was number 13. 14. Num number 14. At the right of the waterfall? Maybe you have to be looking at the waterfall. At the right. To the right. Next to the wall on the land at the right of the waterfall. Maybe you have to be looking at the waterfall from the front and go right. That? Next to the wall on the land at the right of the waterfall with the God cave. damn it, Nick, you're not listening to me. You're confusing me. If you look at the waterfall from the front, right there, maybe you're supposed to go right from there. So that way. In here. Yeah. 
Number 14. You don't listen to me. You're right, I don't. How are we supposed to make this relationship work if you don't listen to me? I'm sorry, honey. Don't, don't they ever call me that again. You know that's Andy's last name. <laughs> ah! Behind the ice veil and the tunnel. Yeah, Who's this the... one is literally impossible to miss. It's just right on the path. I mean, yeah. how could any human... But I got that it. accidentally, yeah. so... In yeah, here. that explains how much it is... It, that explains how impossible it is to miss this. I think this is 16. I'll do it. Do it! This is either 16 or 17. I don't know, so I'm choosing 16. Keep, just keep swimming. Underwater. So that you can see him. 17. See? Yeah, that was 16, 17. That wasn't that hard at all. Bam. Okay, so this no, is the next one. Eight, oh my god. Oh my god, my phone. Jeez. Quit eight. going off. This is 18. Quit going off. I know I was at the eye appointment earlier, but I don't have time for that right now. 18. Yeah, 18. On the highest wooden platform in Lake Burrill. Do it. Liar. <laughs> oh, 19. Right down there. Go near the waterfall next to Frosty Rang. This is also the moving platform, though. You but can use the Frosty Rang for there, it. There is, a, there is a thing right back there. Yeah. We're doing this in order. All right, fine. Oh, wait, I'm the one who insisted that, wasn't I? Yeah. God. You shouldn't be the dick. Uh -huh. You should be the dick. You should and should not be the dick. Today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna stick my dick in your butt. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's right there. Do it! Take those platforms. Get on the platform, then make another platform. Yeah! You did it. Oh, shoot, man. That was close. 20! Up here. Do it! In gate zone in front of entrance. Oh, so we have to use the zappy right here. Ready? Oh. See, see, I told you we'd need him for at least one. We can just do it. make this a bonus episode. Get your Zupu. Wow. Yep, that was anticlimactic. This is 21, also in gate zone. Turn to the right after entering. 22, right here. Yay. Uh, yeah, so there's one. This there's is one. 24. That, that, is in the re that is in replacement of one machine. That was number 24. It, I doesn't, just... it doesn't really matter what order these are, just as long as you get them. Seeing Ego after approach the Dar opens reacting to the star power. Mm. What? Nothing. Got it right, nothing. By the way, that was number 24. Yeah. That was in replacement of the very first machine in this game. <gasps> Go get. Oh, and I have to get that last rang. Last rang? Yeah, the Chrono Rang, man. Oh, I thought you cashed all of them in. Nope. Oh, wait, 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 never mind. Anyway, that's the last one. Ta-da! I see you have found the rainbow scales that were scattered across the land. As a reward for your ingenuity, I give you a special bunyip gift. The resilience of a great warrior. May you battle well. Okay, and then... Just what do you to get? show you. What do you get? I can breathe longer, and I can take more hits. I feel like that wasn't worth it. Oh, it is. It definitely is. Especially, it would have been worth it during the last boss battle. And the first boss battle. And the second boss battle. No, the second one was yeah, easier. Yeah, 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 I realized what I said, and it was dumb. Yeah, you're an idiot. Anyway, this is the end. Oh wait, no wait, 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 wait. No, you gotta get the cash in first. Do it. Today is gonna be the day that he's gonna stick your dick in his butt. <laughs> What? Chrono Rang. I w he doesn't even tell you what it does? Oh, wow, that's glowy. You have to find out what it does, and let me tell you, it's absolutely fucking amazing. 
What does it do? It slows the enemy down. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I read that somewhere. Uh, uh, I just need to be reminded. Okay. Anyway, where are we going next? Cast Pass. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that they actually showed the enemies. Wow, this is taking a little longer to load for some reason. Okay. No one has ever Ready? escaped from this version of jungle. What? Slowed down. Even slow down, he hurt you. No, that was someone else. Nice. See, I can take more hits. But that doesn't mean that you should, should not take them. Yes. You gotta kill them. You gotta kill all of them. You gotta glide over it. Ow. Oh my god. That was Ow. great. What you did there. Inhospitable. They have an extra life for you. This, in <laughs> this inhospitable place. Oh, hey, picnic basket. Alright, at least you got a checkpoint. It's so inhospitable. You know those things that bring you back when you die? They're everywhere. <laughs> no! Nice. Nice. You're so good at this game. Well, we're on the last level, so one must assume that I really am. What? Are you... Oh, my God. If you were going to do that again, I would have laughed. Oh, man. You need those pies. Is there not a thing that fully restores your health? I well, feel like, I the like four-piece pie restores four points. And you're not getting those? No, I am. It just doesn't heal me because I don't have... Four points of health anymore. What? Oh. This again. Don't hurt yourself. Like Too that. Too late. Take it slow, man. Take it slow so you can see your obstacles. Nah. That's not who I am, man. Oh, is this the comet? Is this the dinosaur? Mm hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it either. How long is this thing? Good lord. Not too long. Is there a map for this place? Oh. Yay, Croco Myers. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that supposed to be a pun? What? Croco Myers? No. Is that supposed to be a Metroid pun? Oh, yeah. I I thought you meant, like, Swamp, and I'm like, no, it's Metroid, dude. And that was a straight-up Metroid pun. Eh. 
Okay, this is weird. Yeah, it's pretty inhospitable. They give you these platforms so you can avoid the gator, isn't it mean? Well, I mean, they do have things that will roast you alive, but... On this very slowly moving platform. Where's that fire even coming from? And you didn't even have a damaging animation that time. They're coming from those. They're little metal things. Hoses. Hoser! Oh, jeez! You just... You're really me. good at this game, you know? J Ow! Ow! Hey, listen, man. You had to switch to Chrono. I was gonna slow them down so I can slip past. There. Now health is fully restored. <sighs> hey, Mario did the same thing. Oh my god, you're so good at this game. Just because I'm messing up a few times doesn't mean I'm not. Why, well, why didn't, why weren't you just doing that thing earlier where you move and switch at the same time? Because it's really hard to do. You have to push this and push these. So? Didn't seem that hard. I've done stuff like that before. I think that was in, uh, what was it? I think it was Xenoblade. Because you have to move around and pick your arts to use. But you have to actually press A to execute them, so then you go, and then and, and you switch over to A, and then you use them, and then you win, because you spam, because you spam arts. Spam arts like no tomorrow. Oh my god, if you would've walked off again. See? Makes it easy. Oh wow, those things move at like two frames per second. Are you kidding me? Oh, is that another picket picnic basket up there? Yeah, but I don't want to risk it. It's risk and reward. It's oh, like 50-50. Oh, plus you got one there. Yay, pie! It still surprises. Yeah. It still kind of surprises me that they're that you don't that the game doesn't let you get hurt by that. Well, you're throwing them. Well, yeah, in Zelda, you throw bombs. I and was... if you're in the blast radius, it hurts you. I knew you were gonna bring up Zelda. Oh my god. No! No, no, this is bad. Shoot him. Just shoot him. How long is this thing? That long. Well, it's, it gets even longer over there. Oh man. Oh, right in the jaws of the beast. Wait, was that a... That was what, a life. What was that? Oh, that was a life. All right, there are no collectibles it. here. Yeah, I thought so, which is why it was surprising to see. Couldn't you just swim this whole thing if you wanted to? Yeah, but it's slow. I know, swimming is slow, slow, am I right? No, it's not. It's not slow. What are you talking about? And also, that black area... Unless it, unless it doesn't let you swim in the water. Now there are a lot of enemies there.
Sniff, sniff. That is the only character development I've seen in this whole game. Mori becomes a dick to become slightly less of a dick. <laughs>